What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial. I told you guys that I was going to branch out and I was going to do more makeup tutorials for you guys. And um, I just wanted to give you a spring look that um, was a little bit outside my comfort zone. I'm still wearing nudes, but I'm giving you a little bit of a pop of orange or coral, I would say. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited about this tutorial. Um, again, I do apologize for the fact that you guys are requesting me to get closer to the camera when I'm doing my makeup. That is coming pretty, pretty soon. I'm actually upgrading all my, well actually not my lighting, I'm actually upgrading my camera. And um, I, once I upgrade my camera, I'm going to be doing a close-up so you guys can actually see the makeup tutorial a little bit better. And I can explain them to you a little bit better. But thank you for being patient throughout the years. So, if you guys want to see more tutorials on my channel, just don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Of course, if you like it, not just, oh, give this video a thumbs up. No. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, uh, 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 go ahead and do so. And without further ado, let's get started into creating this uh, spring makeup look, which is not that hard. And I am actually trying to stay away from doing a lot of makeup looks with lashes. Because I know for some people it's kind of hard to get lashes on and when you see a makeup tutorial with lashes and then you do it without the lashes, it is a total turn off. <laughs> it is a total turn down because you're like, ah, it doesn't look the same. So just pack on a lot of mascara, that's what I do. So without further ado and stop rambling, let's get started into this makeup tutorial. So let's get started with this tutorial. Clean face. We're going to start off to moisturize our face with my Clinique Dramatically uh, Different, I think it is. <laughs> then I'm using the Murad Essential Sea Day Moisturizer as well. My skin is very dry, so I got to pack on moisturizers. This has uh, SPF 30, so it's really good. Now we're moving on to the Nivea Pus Balm Shave. Wait, I think it's Pus Shave Balm. I'm sorry. And I'm using this as my one of my primers. This helps a lot with soothing my skin. But then I'm going also with um, this foundation, which is the Born This Way, which is Too Faced. And then I'm applying that drops. These are the Cover FX uh, Infusion, Custom Infusion Drops, F Plus Neurali. This is for pretty much hydration. And sorry, I had to take off my ears. I'm sorry, my earrings. <laughs> So I'm applying a few drops of that into the beauty blender and then I'm picking up the foundation and I'm just uh, pretty much blending it all over my face. Key here is blend, 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 blend. And if you want a little more coverage, you can always go back and apply. Then I'm moving here on with my eyebrows and I'm using the NYX, uh, I think it's called a Sculpt and Highlight Brow Pencil. And I normally don't do this on camera because it takes a lot of time. So I'm going to just pretty much fast forward to me getting them done. So then after that, I prep my eyes. I just pretty much apply a little bit of concealer. I just uh, blend it and then I set it with powder to avoid creasing of the eyeshadows. And I'm going in with the Anastasia. Uh, this one is Dress Your Face Palette. And I'm going to grab that corally color on the bottom and I'm going to apply that all over my lid. You're going to see me during this video packing on a lot of it because I want a lot to show. Now as my transition color, I am picking up a color that is close to the hula bronzer. Something that is close to your, um, a little bit darker, just a tiny bit light darker than your eyes. Just to pretty much help as a transition color and I don't know why I didn't show it here. But I forgot to apply it as my transition color before apply the lid. But I'm just pretty much moving on to the lid. And I said, like I said, I'm packing on a lot of that corally color because I want it really bright. So for a little bit of definition, I'm going in with the same palette. But I'm grabbing the color in chocolate, which is that dark brown. Any palette that you have that has dark brown will definitely work. And I'm just applying this on my crease and I'm blending it upwards. I'm just bringing, this is just pretty much going to be a little more of definition onto the eyes. 
And then I'm grabbing a pencil liner and I am outlining my lash line. This is going to help me guide myself to where I want my liquid liner to fall and I don't go either too thick or too thin. So this is just a trick that I've been doing lately and I've seen that it's worked wonders. So we're going to go on to the winging of the liner. I always start at the bottom, I'm sorry, at the end of the eye and I just draw the wing and then I go upwards and I connect and I start drawing close to my lash line. So that's pretty much what I do. Once I have that wing, I just pretty much start connecting everything, making sure that is the thickness that I want of the liner. And then I'm going to do the same thing to the other eye, just first the wing and then connect it and bring it inwards and then just pretty much making sure that everything is even that. So once the eyeliner is done, I don't really want to do so dramatic. I go in with mascara. I pack on a lot of mascaras because I am not using falsies on this video. So just pack on a lot of mascara of your favorite mascara just to make sure your eyelashes stand out. I pack on two different ones. I think I'm wearing the Tarte Hello Lashes and the It Cosmetic, it Cosmetic Superhero. Then I'm going in with color correcting my under eyes and this I'm using the LA Girl Pearl Concealer, HD Pro Concealer, something like that, in the salmony color. And I'm just pretty much blending it away. This helps a lot. Then I'm using the NYX HD Concealer, which this has been my holy grail concealer for a while now. It's super creamy, super blendable, and it's super, super, super bright. And just pretty much triangular um, shape. Bridge up my nose, a little bit on my forehead, and just a little bit on the side, just to define my contour. And then with the Beauty Blender, of course, say it with me, blend. Blend everything. Can we fast forward to this? Come on. You guys seen me blend my concealer a million of times. Concealer does a different. Now I'm setting my concealer with the NYX HD powder in Banana. So pretty much everywhere I put concealer, I'm just setting and I'm patting, patting. We don't want to make your concealer crease. The same thing I did to my eyes, I'm doing at the bottom. I'm applying uh, the transition color, which is like the Hula bronzer. I'm actually using the Hula bronzer. Then I'm applying a little bit of that corally. And then I am... Put a mascara on my bottom lashes. Do not forget mascara on your bottom lashes. This is a very important step. Now for contouring, there we go. That's the Hula Bronzer right there. And I'm just contouring. I love this little brush that it comes with because it helps me define the contour perfectly how I like it. And I'm just applying it on the side on the temples of my face and a little bit towards my forehead because I have a huge forehead. We want to hide that. And of course, contour my nose. Thank God for contouring of the nose. Then I'm using this Lara Geller, I think it's the gelato blush in, in color papaya. Everything is going to be down below. Then I'm using the e.l.f. Illuminating Palette and I'm using that corner highlight, which is my absolute fave highlight right now. And girl, I'm packing on highlight everywhere. And then of course, blend everything. I'm going in with the NYX lingerie in 06 just to mattify and give a more of a nude color to my lips. But then I'm moving on to the Gerard Cosmetic Hydra Matte Lipstick in the color Aphrodite. It's like a peachy color, I would say, orangey peachy color. And that's it. All I do is draw my line, my lips well, that they look like I got lip injections, but I didn't. So here's a completed look, ladies. I hope you enjoyed it. It was quite simple and quite easy to do. Uh, I didn't want to make it too much. So I hope you guys really liked this uh, video tutorial. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. enjoy this makeup tutorial again if you really like it don't forget to hit this video a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel go ahead and do so <laughs> thank you so much for sticking till the end be blessed precious pearls i will see you ladies on my next video bye